Hi. Uh, if you are watching this recording, it's because I have sent you an email because I'm very concerned about you. Um, I'm concerned that you just aren't getting your work done. And I want to, um, I want to, from the heart, let you know that, first of all, I miss you guys like crazy. Um, this has just been a really tough time for all of us adjusting. And there's, there's no way um, I would ever prefer this than being in the classroom with you. But that being said, my expectations have always been high and you're not doing your work and that worries me so just because we aren't giving grades does not mean i'm not giving feedback and the skills that i'm teaching and the knowledge that i'm imparting on you is not important for you moving forward in your educational career we, we, we need to take that to heart mr kelly the other day made a great analogy for those of you that play sports or play an instrument um you know you practice stuff and you don't get a a letter grade at the end of a, you know, a baseball practice or, you know, uh, your gymnastics coach doesn't come up and say, hey, you got a B for today. It doesn't work that way, right? So I know, you know, you're very driven by grades or, and whatever, and this is a strange new world for all of us, but you still have to get the work done. And so after I'm done going through this with you, your folks are getting an email from me as well. Um, but I'm going to just remove all barriers. Uh, because I did already speak to a couple of your folks last week, and it seems to me that we're playing this um, I don't know what to do game. And that con concerns me and confuses me because I've been using Canvas in my class all year long. And if you weren't aware, all of your teachers have to use Canvas, and there's a few reasons why. Number one, it has a really great analytics where it can tell me how long you've been on and et cetera, et cetera. So last week, the list I had to send to Mr. Kelly I didn't include those of you that I actually saw actively working on Canvas because I assumed you were going to get the work turned in by the deadline of midnight on Sunday. Yesterday, I went through um, Pear Deck, uh, lets me create a great spreadsheet. I can see every single one of your responses. And I went through, and for those of you that never even checked into the Pear Deck, you got an incomplete in Canvas. So um, you can't play games with me here, guys. There's, the, the, the advantage of technology is that it tracks you everywhere you go. So I'm going to go through and explain to you how we're doing things um, so that there is no excuses as to why you're not getting things done. Okay. So my landing page, also known as my homepage, has not changed much. I did add an advisory button because you are required to check in with your advisory teacher once a week. The distance learning schedule, and then I have a social study schedule for me down here. Okay. I'm not really doing Zooms. I'm doing Zooms for my advisory and I'm doing my tutoring hours on Friday. I don't find it, um, you know, very helpful. I find this way more helpful. So, um, so let's go on. Uh, we've always clicked sessions when we're in class, right? No difference. I'm just not naming them sessions anymore. I'm, um, we're doing it by the week. So we have three active weeks of learning that um, since the week of April 6th, okay? And the two requirement was there's a Google form and the TDQ. Those were both required assignments last week's and then i said i'm always putting putting some supplemental materials up that's not required this is last week's lesson this is required it was a pear deck and then a writing assignment on julius caesar that you got the information from the pear deck to write and then an optional tdq okay it's nothing like major here i mean the writing assignment should be five paragraphs i only require one paragraph text dependent okay you got to try in this life guys something is better than nothing i'm giving feedback so if you need to work on it, I'll send you that feedback. And then this is this week's lesson. So every day, every day, whether you are going to do social studies or not, I post a daily check-in. Sometimes through just uh, chatting with you guys, I, I tweak things or I figure out something didn't work well and I'll fix it and I'll let you know about it the next recording. So you can, if you just want to see my face every day, you can come in and see my daily video. There's an attendance sheet. You only have to fill it out once, once per week. And I got, even though Canvas tells me if you've been on or not, I like the attendance sheet just as a backup. And then we have two assignments this week, the Achievement of the Romans, which is, again, a Pear Deck. Okay, there's a link there. There's a note sheet that you uh, that you can use if you want to. You don't have to. Um, and then, oops, sorry, 10,000 windows open, as always. Click Next. And then there's an Ed Puzzle. So the important thing with Ed Puzzle, as always, just like in classes, please make sure you're logged into the right class because Ed Puzzle gives me a nice breakdown of uh, your assignments, how much time you spent on the assignment, and what you scored on the assignment, okay? So that is important. 
Um, okay, let's go back here. And then there's an optional TDQ here. Again, it's optional. It says right on here, it's optional. So that's very doable. And you don't have to do it all in one sitting. You can work on it and then come back, whatever. Everything is due midnight of the, we start on Monday and it's due the following Sunday at midnight. That's plenty of time to get work done. So last week it was asked of us to send a list of kids that weren't working to Mr. Kelly. And I went on to Canvas and I looked to see if you guys were actively on Canvas. And those of you that were not, your folks got an email from me. And um, I said, I gave the rest of you the benefit of the doubt saying that at least you're on Canvas, you gotta be doing something. So once the assignment didn't get turned in, then you got an email from me yesterday morning saying you didn't do the assignment. And then this morning I went through again and I sent out some reminders. And I'm gonna show you how you can know. Yes, you have your to-do list, but I, uh, this is what we're going to um, kind of take a peek at. This is, I'm test student and test student is not, she does not do her work, okay? But this is what um, you can see in here in terms of what you have missing. And then when you click on them, it'll bring you right into the assignment. Now, um, if you're like, well, where do I get that from? Just go back to the module and you can click on it, okay? So let's go back to grades again. Let's look at, um, do, 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 do. okay, let's look at the, um, the government. This is the Julius Caesar writing assignment and this is the Pear Deck. So what do I do? If I got no submission in here, right? You actually want to go back to your assignment page and you can see it. Where is it? Oh, maybe I'm lying to you. Um, there we go. Ah, so when you click on it, it'll bring you back into the assignment. So this is the Julius Caesar one. So again, that's what you do and you can go in, it will bring you right in and see what you need to get done, all right? So the other thing I wanna show you is if you need my help, of course you can email me, but I have a chat window that's open throughout, uh, throughout the day, okay? And people are definitely using it, right? And I am definitely responding. Okay, two people. Sorry, I'm in, I forgot I was in test mode. Um, and and then I'm going to actually leave student view for a second, guys, so I can show you a couple of the tools I have. I have that turned on. A couple of the tools that I have at my disposal as well. Um, So when I click on my people, I can take a look at people's, and I really don't want to show you people's names, but um, here, let me just here, shrink this up. So it over here, I want to draw your attention. It shows me how long you've been online, when was the last time you were online, Okay, and I actually can go and like click inside people's names and I can take a look at everything you're doing. So again, there there is no uh, way around you not doing your work, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be that kid who lies on your teacher because I have no motivation, no motivation except for what's best for you. And this is the last part I really want you to hear. Um, this is tough for all of us, but your education is important to me, to your parents, your guardians, and it should be important to you. And whether you're aware of it or not, you know, I'm the history teacher, I'm going to give you, give you a quick history lesson. There is very few of us in this world who cannot trace back to a time where we didn't have an education available to our ancestors, our descendants. Um, or not our descendants, sorry, we, we are their descendants. Um, particularly minority groups, women, African-Americans, Native Americans, um, there's still people in parts of the world that are fighting for the right for an education. And you guys know who Malala is. She was shot in the face for trying to go to school. So yes, this is a strange time. And yes, you're not getting grades. 
But please know from the bottom of my heart, what makes us tick as teachers is, is learning and the love of learning and skills. Your learning skills are going to serve you later in life. And so you may not get that immediate reward of, of the grade and power school right now, but you're going to get the reward from me of, uh, you know, great job. I'm really proud of you. And I want to be proud of you. I'm proud of you regardless. I mean, you're all, you're all really good kids, but please, please reach out and I will help. I have offered some kids um, an opportunity to do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with me, particularly on Thursdays when it's my planning day. And so if you really need help, reach out to me and we can arrange that. That's not a problem. I would love to do that for you, okay? So that's up. Take enough time of your time. Get to work. Get those assignments turned in. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I really want to scratch your name off my list of, of kids that, um, that need to get emails from me, all right? Talk soon.